Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I have my September haul and I'm going to start with the perfumes. I only have two so that's why I'm not doing a separate haul this month but I'll start with my perfumes then I'm going to go into what I bought during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because I only picked up a few things and then just whatever else I picked up within September just so you can kind of know if you want to skip ahead or what part you want to watch. Hopefully you want to watch it all though. But the first thing I picked up is from Kohl's. This is the Palm Trees Please by Juicy Couture. This is their newest in the Rock the Rainbow set. I just, I should have opened the plastic. I apologize. That's really loud. So it looks like all of the other bottles within this collection in gold with the little crown at the top. This is the greenest of all of the scents that they have so far. It's not overly green. It's not like as bad as, it's not as green as, not bad, but green as the Peace Love and Juicy, but it does have a slight green scent to it. I do like it. It's not, I find, find everything in this collection to be pretty mellow and doesn't really, isn't really overpowering. So that's the first perfume I got. The other one I got is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This actually I got because I had bought the Sephora Favorites sampler back in August and this was one of the choices that you could get. The way, if you buy the sampler, not only do you get to try all of those different scents, but your perfume, this one in particular, if this is one that you want, is going to be $30 cheaper than if you bought it because the set itself is $64 or $65 and this is $94. So it's going to be the best value of all of them. I've talked about this one a couple times. I talked about it in my sample Saturday, I guess is what I mean to say. It smells really nice. I've gotten a lot of compliments when I wore the sample that I got from Dillard's. It's slightly spicy, but just it's a really good, I think, everyday scent. It's going to have a little bit uh, more breadth to it than some of the other scents that I normally wear, but this one is really nice. It's kind of a spicy gourmand, but not like overly spicy. It still has that sweetness to it. So those are the two perfumes that I Moving got. Moving on to Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. When I said I didn't really buy much, I really meant it. I only bought a few things. <laughs> the first thing was my Clinique Moisture Surge. I did buy two in store and order two online and I love this stuff I go through it this will last me a month month and a half each jar so I wanted to stock up a little bit I do have a lot of moisturizers I am trying to use up but this is my daily morning go-to moisturizer so when they were ten dollars instead of twenty that's a really good deal and that's a good time to stock up that was the first thing I got because that was something I really needed the other thing I really needed was from Clarisonic. I went in store and picked these guys up. This is the acne or blemished skin Clarisonic head. I go through these about once every three months. Well, obviously once every three months. You're only supposed to use them there. Um, so on the first of the year, I always switch out and then every three months. So my toothbrush, my mascara, my Clarisonic, my beauty blender, all of those things on the first of every quarter, I change for the new one. So I picked up those two and then I'll show you, I picked up a couple more from Sephora as well. The other thing I picked up from the sale is this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. This I was hoping that I would have gotten in my glossy box, but of course I didn't get it because hardly anybody got it. This is what it looks like. It does have a fun little camp cap with the orange on the top. But this is supposed to be glassy, transparent, poreless skin is achieved when skin is well hydrated and well without inflammation and free radical damage. A revolutionary cocktail of peach extract, niacinamide, wild yam, matisk cas oside, that word I have never heard before, peptides and hyaluronic acid help to hydrate, calm, brighten, and firm skin. Pat onto clean, dry skin, can be used AM and PM. I'm excited to try that. That was 50% off also, which is one of the reasons why I decided to pick it up. The one makeup item I got was an Ofra highlighter. I got this shade Cloud Nine 
originally I had bought glazed donut and I had gotten on the what's up in makeup site and was asking about it because I wondered if it was one of the th ones in the trio that Ofra had done with Nikki tutorials originally and it turned out it was so I wanted to get a different one I did I had already ordered it like 10 minutes before somebody finally confirmed 10 minutes after I ordered somebody finally confirmed so that one I returned to the store already I also returned diva from Mac because it looked more of a pretty like a sh lighter shade on the website than what it actually was in person it was much too dark so those two went back um, I didn't even swatch them or open them I saw them and was like nope we're returning those cloud nine I love over highlighters I have pillow talk I have star island I have so many so that's what it looks like it kind of has that shift to it it slightly reminds me of the highlighter I'm wearing today which I should have done more of I guess but I was going to be out in the real world as well it has a just holographic shift to it just nice it's it's a fun shift anyway that's the other 50% off daily deal that I got I did take advantage of a couple of the what were they called the beauty steals that were available <clears throat> the full 30 or 21 days and the ones I got were the acne blemish dots from Peter Thomas Roth because I go through those fairly regularly although lately knock on wood I haven't needed them very much, which is awesome. Of course, I do have one that I had to use yesterday, but I'm hoping that that continues. And then I also picked up the Kate Somerville Derma Quench Liquid Lift and Retinol because I do love retinol and I use it every night. So I thought this would be a nice one, especially with it being on sale. I redeemed points for this and the Acne Dots and a couple other items I'll show you in a minute. So I actually, got a lot of this for free which was very nice because you know even at the 30 percent off it was still kind of expensive that was still like 70 68 to 70 dollars one day they had the free gift this is the lorax luxe diamond cream eyeshadow in the shade lace the only thing i complain about when they do the online specials for platinum and well this is for diamond sorry is that it's really hard to tell what shade you are choosing so that's this one I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be a good shade or not it feels just like a regular cream eyeshadow I was expecting it to be maybe a little more creamy it doesn't really feel like melty like I guess I was expecting it to be more like the jellies that butter and ColourPop have done but that's a really pretty color Actually, I could see that working all over the lid. So I picked up that one because that was the free gift from, like I said, for Diamond. I'm trying to make sure I get off the glitter. And then we had this little free gift with any Kate Somerville purchase. There's a retinol and vitamin C moisturizer, which sounds awesome. There is an exfoliate, which is not my favorite exfoliator, so I'm probably going to pass that one along. And then the retinol Vita C Power Serum, which also sounds really good I am happy to have any retinols or vitamin C's those are two things that are just great for my skin. moving on to a couple things that I picked up during Sephora's rival sale which was basically just copying Ulta's 21 days of de deals and then there's a couple days where they didn't have anything for sale because they did they couldn't put the effort into creating their own sale but I did order these because I wanted um, to get four of them and then my mom wanted some brush heads too so it made it a little bit more difficult I picked up two of the deep pour brush heads which are my favorite these are one of my favorite heads just because they do clean well and luckily for me these were the only two that this was the, like the only style that was left on Sephora's website when I did that I did pick up two samples with that I got a Gabrielle from Chanel and Juliet has a gun violet vibes which I'm really excited to try I'm I'm going to try to start putting perfumes in my sample Saturday so look for reviews of those soon and then I also picked up this this is from Charlotte Tilbury this is the airbrush flawless foundation in the shade I think I got in the shade six no three sorry it looks really pale in the container we'll do a pump and see what it looks like I just barely finished my foundation and I'm trying to find a new combination of primer and 
foundation. So we'll see what this looks like. That came out so much, like that one pump, so much. And there's a lot of coverage. It blended out pretty well. It's a little darker than my skin, so hopefully it won't look terrible on my skin. We'll try it out here soon. All right, so the next thing I got this month were some of these mystery bags from Ipsy. These were $12. They still had the free shipping with that $12, but I wanted to get some of the different Tetris bags, so I ordered three of them. I got two more purple, so that makes my grand total of four purple, and then a blue, and <laughs> In these they're all exactly the same all three of them have the exact same thing so I had a full-size Rodeo Drive highlighter from Ofra a Tetris lip gloss in this white clear shade then it contained an eyeliner from Jean Bleu because everybody hates eyeliners I guess so they're including it in everything a yogurt, wild berry and honey yogurt mask, recovery mask, and the Tony Moly Vita Vita 12 Jelly Cleanser. What I am gonna do is I'm going to take this one purple bag that I just looked through, and I'm gonna do a giveaway in this video. So make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you picked up this past month that is your favorite item, or if you haven't shopped this month, why? Was it, was there nothing that you were interested in? Are prices just getting too expensive? Let me know and I will enter you in the drawing for this. I might throw in a couple more good, goodies as we go. Like I said, these were the exact same bags and I don't need four purple bags. I'm gonna give gift to my friend and then I'm glad to have finally have gotten a blue one. I picked up two wax melts from Zany Laney, but these are the two waxes I got. The first one is Come On Sun, Pineapples and Cake. You know that's right, based on the TV show and now movies, Psych. This smells pretty good. I, It's a little too bakery for me. I'm not the biggest bakery fan, but it does smell like pineapples too, which is more of, a, of the predominant scent within it. And then this one I really like. This is called Now Sit. It's based on the Secret Life of Pets, that's what it's called. And it's grapes, pears, and apples. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. I've had this in my wax melter. I need to pop out another cube of it because it's starting to dissipate, but I've been using it a lot. It's, it's one I would definitely recommend in a spray or a scrub or any form, really. Then I picked up this little guy from Target. This is part of the Target 20th Anniversary Design Collaboration. It's from Lily Pulitzer. It's a little makeup bag. I have one of these that from the original Lily Pulitzer launch that has flamingos, the flamingo palette uh, pattern, that's the word, on it. So I decided to pick up the flowers because it was little and it was not expensive, which really helped. All right. This next one, this is the craziest thing. So I got the white chocolate bar palette from Too Faced. I ordered this August 27th from their sale. It was like they're up to 70% off sale. It was supposed to be $20 and I decided, you know what? I don't need to spend 30 more dollars to save $5 in shipping. So I just ordered it, it was 25 with shipping. Still basically half price of what it was. Then on September 13th, so weeks later, I got a thing saying, oh, items were out of stock in your order, you're gonna be refunded. And I looked and looked and I did, I never was charged anywhere. So as of now, at the end of September, I haven't been charged for this palette. I am dreading that it gets charged to me at this point because I no longer have it in my budget because it just, it's thrown me off. Anyway, I got this palette, it was $25. And then it showed up five days after I got that email about it being out of stock. So I'm very confused. I don't know why, what's going on with it, but this is what it looks like. I know it wasn't a lot of people's favorites because it was so pale, but for me really, these are shadows that I can use for an everyday look because I am, I'm very pale. Like, so these will still show up on my eyes and not look overly crazy like my blue eyes shadow today. Like I could never wear this to teach. 
But so there's some of the shadows. I just thought it was pretty. I love the Too Faced formula. I love the smell of the chocolate palettes, but we'll see if they actually ever charge me for it or what. I'm, I'm just, it's, it was so weird and confusing. All right, so I mentioned that, that I went to a convention earlier in September and I found these at the convention from one of the vendors. They're the Storebook Cosmetics Wizards, Witchcraft and Wizardry brushes. Now, I have to say that once I got them home and I started looking at them more closely, they don't say Storybook Cosmetics on the brushes, which I think, which my era ones do. So I'm not sure if these are authentic, but for brushes, I'm not as concerned as with like actual makeup because these I will wash and sterilize and they shouldn't have like lingering things on them. But they do feel authentic in their weight, which is one of the things that I was going from because I, um, that is something that I'm aware of that happens. But this is what they look like, the wand ends. So, whoa, there are five wands. You have like the crease brush, you have a shader brush, you have a fluffy brush, you have this little more detail brush, and then the flat brush. So I got the gold set, and they do have the Storybook Cosmetics um, makeup bag with them. And the other ones, the gunmetal ones, had the same thing. So I'm not sure what's going on with them. But they're the same deal. They have the same things. Same brushes with the same... Uh, brush ends on them, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I picked those up from the from the convention. And then I picked up a couple things from Ulta that were either part of my bigger haul that would be redeeming points, or I got some of these things because they were on sale. I picked up an anti-acne serum from Mario Badescu because I go through them about once a month and I needed to get another one. And then this was one of the fall haul events things. They have the Body Shop Body Butters. So I picked up the strawberry one. They were half price. Strawberry smells so good. I got a giant tub of this once at TJ Maxx and I loved it. And so I went, decided to get another one. I left the other one at home at, next to my bed because I, I got the mango one too. So I did pick up two of them because I love mango too. And it's just, it's ready to go for my feet. Then I picked up this little, the um, major must haves makeup set. Well, actually this was a free gift with what I bought from Too Faced from um, Ulta. So it comes with four things. It has a little apricot in the act, which is a really nice blush and you can make it either more satin or more shimmery. It smells like apricots too, it's really nice. A better than sex easy glide waterproof liquid eyeliner and Hangover RX replenishing primer and a better than sex mascara. Now the liner and the mascara, my friends have already laid claim to because I know they will want those because that's what they always use. But I am going to throw the blush and the primer into that purple Ipsy bag. So that will be an additional little prize within that. Then I picked up from the Pure and Barbie collection. This was part of my points. I picked up the palette. It is gorgeous. Like it these are actually like glitter and small rocks on it. It's so pretty. And inside it says never lose your sparkle. And then these are the shades. They're gorgeous. Pure does have beautiful colored eyeshadows. They're not always the best, but there's like this glitter here with all the different shades within it. I'm not going to swatch it because I don't know if I'm going to just leave it as a collector's piece because I do, I collect dolls. I love Barbie. I've had Barbies for 
my entire life and it's the 60th anniversary of Barbie this year which is just insane but picked up that guy the thing that I got the free Too Faced gift for, from was this this is the watermelon slice and I got this because it was the 10 off of a purchase and I decided this was the palette I wanted and of course they went on sale the last weekend in September so I could have just used that and gotten an additional 20% off but this is what it looks like it is two palettes in one which this just makes me want to eat watermelon so badly right now it does have the dots on the back as well this side is the eyeshadow palette you have the eight colors and then the other side is the face palette and you have like a shimmery bronzer a blush and a highlight we're gonna swatch those first it does smell like watermelon which is just amazing and I love that aspect of it the highlighter is a really peachy highlighter no never mind that's not the highlighter that is the bronzer and I just messed up so there's the bronzer, there's the blush. I have to redo the highlighter because I just re-swatched it with the bronzer because I wasn't thinking. So this Dressed to Chill, we'll swatch that one. So that's a more accurate representation of it right here. It's a more subtle blush. I think it will be really, not blush, highlighter. I think it will be really nice for everyday use. All right, so let's swatch this palette. I think I will swatch all of them just because I can, because there's only eight. Those are the first four, they're the middle three, and then that dark one on the end. Oh, as always, the shimmers never disappoint. That was, that wine one is pretty bright, and that's a really nice brow bone and transition. At least for me, if you have darker skin, it might not be as good which is a shame but sometimes that is a problem with a lot of palettes they I wish almost all palettes would come with like a couple shade variations because I feel a lot of the times the paler skin people can't do a more bright or dark palette because it just doesn't look as good and other shades just don't show up for other skin tones if you have a darker skin tone and it sucks for both so those are those four we'll do the black Whew. it's one of those blacks with the shimmer um the glitter in it that's what they look like that green is very interesting it's kind of it looks a lot more sheer in person than on the skin than on the camera all right the last thing i picked up was the ursula pop palette from ulta I think Ulta must be doing it. It's very confusing because it says Disney and Funko, but I don't know who like actually produced it. But this is what it looks like. There are four palettes. One is a highlighter palette. That's what this one is. There's a like blush palette and then there's two eyeshadow palettes as well. It does have a little seal on it, which will take me a second. All right, I got the seal off. I should put it right side up. It does look like this Funko Pops, which is kind of cute. I do collect Funko, especially the Disney ones. It does have a nice big mirror on this side. And then the four highlighters on this side, that's what they look like. So they're going to be oriented looking down and instead of it, you won't hold it upright you'll have that in towards you their shades are called unfortunate souls body language tough choices and vixen so that's what the four look like hopefully they'll show up i do have unfortunately still some of the last swatches that did not want to wipe off my hands that wine shade kind of stuck right very well so that's what those what it looks like in that palette i decided to get this one because there was less of it than some of the other palettes the maleficent palette eyeshadow palette was already gone so i'm hoping to pick one up at one of the other altas in the valley around me fingers crossed i did use the the 350 off of 15 which is not the best coupon 
but a coupon is better than no coupon. It does say number four holographic on it, and that's what the back of the packaging looks like as well. We have reached the final thing in this month's haul. This might be a little longer than I was originally planning. I feel like I've talked a little bit, but it is the free gift from Alto with a $150 purchase. Yes, I did put a $150 purchase in, but I used $125 worth of points. That's why I had some of those extra stuff. I'm gonna go through here really fast. I might throw a couple more things in that Ipsy bag. I did decide to throw in the exfoliate uh, scrub as well into that set, just so you know. First thing in here is the Urban Decay, Urban Decay Brow Endowed Brow Volumizer. It looks like it's dual ended and it is in the shade Brunette Betty Medium Brown. That I'll be passing along. Lash Topia from Bare Minerals. I have not tried this mascara, so that will go in my little lash collection. Then we have a Yes to uh, Grapefruit. This is a brightening for dull and uneven vitamin C glow boosting unicorn peel off mask. There's so many things in there that sound a little scary for skincare. Then there is a Bye Bye Pores Pressed, and it doesn't want to stay on its glue very well, but that is the next thing that I'll be passing along because um, I don't, it doesn't work well for my skin. Buxom Vava Plump. It is a shiny liquid lipstick. I think I might pass this one along too. You know what, I'm gonna put this in. I'm not gonna include this giant thing because it won't fit in the Ulta bag very well, but I will throw this in. It is a nice plum shade. It looks pretty, but I think, I'm hoping you'll get more use out of it than me. NARS Climax Mascara. I have tried this one. It was a little scary to me. I will be passing that along as well. Clinique Happy Perfume Spray. I do have a little mini of this already, but I don't have a full size Clinique Happy, so I think I'm gonna keep this one so that I can you know, use one and keep one in my fun collection. From Sugar Rush, this is the Tarte Sugar Spritz Body Spray. That sounds interesting. I'm gonna spray it, see what it smells like. It is really sweet. It smells kind of like old school sunscreen, like maybe banana boat, but like a sweet version of it. Anyway, yeah, I'll use that because I, I love skin, you know, I love perfumes, sweet perfumes. Versace Pour Femme Dylan Blue. I do not have a mini of this. That is for sure. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, I love it. That will definitely be going in to my miniature perfume collection. That is so precious, I love it. Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. I do have another one of these, so I think I'll pass this one along and let somebody else try it. I can't believe I just dropped it. From Milani, this is a Make It Last Matte Finish Setting Spray, 16 hour wear. Interesting, interested to try that. Awake Balance Shot Antioxidant Concentrate. What is this? Shake well, apply to skin. All right, so it sounds like maybe it's an essence. Yeah, I'm gonna say that it's an essence. We're gonna, tr we're gonna apply it as an essence. We're gonna keep those instructions too. Clinique All About Eyes. Oh, I'm passing this to my mom because she loves this eye cream. I love this eye cream too, but I'm gonna be a good daughter and pass it along to her and not hoard it for myself, even though I'm really tempted to do so. This is the CBD Calming Eye Balm from Kanuka, C-A-N-N-U-K-A. I think I'm gonna put this in the Ipsy bag too, just because I have so many eye creams to try that and that's probably one that i won't purchase in the future so that will just make my life easier walk on air by kate spade i love this i do have a little mini of this already so i'll probably pass that along to a friend 
This is Frederick Fakai One More Day Dry Shampoo. I'll pass that along to a friend as well, just because um, I don't do dry shampoo and I don't want to ship it because then there's all the shipping regulations. Caviar Anti-Aging Replenishing Moisture CC Cream 10 in 1 Complete Correction Leave-In. So that's nice as well. All right, from Kenra is the Strengthening Shampoo and Conditioner. Always love those shampoo. Anti-Wrinkle Recode Line Transforming Melting Serum from Strive Becton. Always love serums. Always will take any serums that you want to give me because you can. I just feel like you can never have enough serums because... I go through serums so quickly. I love this serum. This is the Shiseido Ultimate, Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. Oh my gosh. I don't know what it is about it, but it's, it just feels so luxurious and it smells luxurious. I really love it. I am so excited to have another one of that. Jane Iredell Smooth Affair. This is a facial primer and brightener. I have never heard of that, so I'll try it. I do care bright side up brightening vitamin C serum. That sounds interesting. Always glad for serums. That's so cute. Look at how tiny it is. That will be a great one to try. Then we have some vitamins, it seems. This is Skin Elasticity from Nature's Bounty. Um, so it has Florigo and vitamin A, and they seem to be capsules that you would swallow and not like the gummies that a lot of people have had lately. Take two with water, do not chew. So good thing I'm smart enough to realize that without the instructions. This is Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. I've tried this before and it was fairly nice. I feel like it has the microplastic beads in it though. I don't know what's made, what those beads are, but I don't like those. Hungarian Thermal Water from Peter Thomas Roth. I think there might be room in your bag for this guy as well. Get you some good skincare as well as some fun makeup. Number seven, Line Correcting Booster Serum. Ooh, another serum. That's awesome. From La Roche Posay. A hydrating gentle cleanser. Always like La Roche Posay. They have some nice skincare. Biolage All in One Coconut Infusion Multi Benefit Spray. Leave ins. I love leave ins. And I love shampoo and conditioners. I think I just really liked these recently too. Let me, let me double check. It was the smell that really sold it. Yes. Yes. This smells like a dreamsicle. So, so good. Love those excited about those. There's a lot that I'm kind of excited about in here. Then we have a Total Temptation Mascara from Maybelline. I don't think I put a mascara in there. We'll we'll see if I can squeeze that one into. I want my goal with this gift bag is that it, it zips close. Then we have from Tula, this is a So Polished Exfoliating Sugar Scrub from Pure. This has plastic over it, so it's hard to read what it actually is. Get rid of the plastic. I don't know why there is a plastic baggie around it, but whatever. Deep Pore Cleanser. Well, that will be nice to use. Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I think I have some of those, so I think I'll pass that along to a friend. And then their Real Mascara from Too Faced. Not my favorite mascara anymore. I used to really like it, but I don't know. It just stopped working for me. So got two sets of shampoo and conditioner here. Those are on my lap. Got some cleansers, some scrubs, leave-in hair, two of those. Setting spray, that's awesome. More cleanser and serums, cleanser. Sorry, I'm just trying to put it all back in the bag. Some more serums. Three perfumes. Like, I am really impressed with the three, like, deluxe-sized miniature perfumes that, um, the other one too, that was nice too. So there's just a lot. Primers, serums, mascaras, lots of mascaras as well. Lots of goodies. Let me know if you got this bag or what you thought about the bag. It was supposed to be worth $150. Now, I don't know if it's worth $150. Like that seems a little high, but you know, makeup is always kind of expensive and skincare. All right, so in the gift bag for you guys, 
Let's see if I can zip it up and then I'll re-show you everything. It's gonna be tight, but it's in there. So what you can win is a Total Temptation Mascara from Maybelline, uh, eye balm, CBD calming eye balm from Kanuka, the Peter Thomas Roth Thermal, Hungarian Thermal Water Cream, Exfolicate from Kate Somerville, a Vava Voom Plump Liquid Lipstick, Shiny Liquid Lipstick, so I don't, it's not a matte one, Hangover RX Primer, and Apricot in the Act Blush from Too Faced, and then the ones that were already in here, so the Sweet Berry, Wild Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask, Clear Lip Gloss, Jelly Cleanser from Tony Moly, Rodeo Drive Full Size Highlighter from Ofra, and then a Jean Bleu Liquid Eyeliner. Like I said, follow the directions within the video for how to enter, what you need to leave or to do to be entered into the contest. Good luck to you all. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Of course, I'm really looking forward to reading all of your thoughts and opinions on all of this stuff. I hope you're having a wonderful beginning to October and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.